Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this one, uh, we are going to see how to transform uh, an image into a particle system. So we can get effects uh, like uh, image uh, crashing, uh, image explosion, uh, because uh, it's just particle system. So let's start. Yeah, we got this nice grid. Uh, let's start with the uh, GL starter. Just the basic stuff. Let's call this. What you want? Let's call this uh, toot zero six. Uh, let's make the window floating. All right. So first of all, we need the uh, JIT matrix to to get our our image. Let's create a message, import movie, bang. So this is going to import our image and then bang the matrix to output it. So let's take an image like this one, this poor guy, which is actually Terence Hill. Yeah, he's the guy. So let's uh, unpack the RGB planes. So let's just offset the first plane, which is the alpha, and get the other three planes, which are RGB. Right? So then we need another JIT matrix, which contains uh, the RGB planes, but we need this because we have to give it some dimensions, which are the dimensions of our particle system. Let's put the adapt the zero attribute just for um, to be sure that it won't change our dimensions. And then we need some uh, JIT gen magic, just it's not really that magic, actually, it's just pretty ba basic stuff. So let's zoom. All right, we don't need the, the second inlet. Right, so we need to sample this uh, incoming image, which is going to be our our coordinates. All uh, right, with the norm. So what we need to do is to get the length of this vector, which is actually the RGB vector. And we got to test it against the threshold. So let's create our threshold param. Threshold, let's give it an initial value of zero. Right, so we are going to do this using a simple gate. So to get, uh, we are using threshold to get the silhouette of an image. So maybe you have a black background with a white uh, figure and you just want to get the, the, the pixel from the, the foreground. So you're going to use uh, a threshold to, to get get rid of the black background. So we, we need actually uh, signal uh, coordinates. So we're going to get those from the norm vector. We are not using as norm because uh, it uh, just wouldn't work. So let's switch the X from this and Y because we have to reverse the Y axis because uh, because uh, it will it uh, uh, will be upside down. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It will be totally upside down. So let's create a back tree with just zero for the Z axis because these are uh, actually are two D coordinates, but uh, they could also be three D, three D coordinates. We just putting that zero on the Z axis. All right, so let's create our threshold message, threshold message. All right, this is our threshold. And uh, so let's create our location matrix for our particles. 32, uh, what, uh, 400 by 400? 
All right, uh, let's let's bang this matrix. We need to bang this every frame because this contains our locations. So if we want to um, to update our location, we have to bang this matrix. And then let's create our git gl mesh. Two two zero six draw mod pines color full white. All right. Let's see what we got. We got nothing because uh, because we had the two bag this matrix here. All right. What what we got here? Uh, yes, we need to bang this matrix every time. So this is our particle system which just got the pixel the brightest the brightest pixel leaving out the let's do this leaving out all the the darker one yeah look at this Terence Hill guy all right what if we want also the color from our uh, from our image uh, we can do like this and we got the full color talent shield. All right, so this is actually a particle system, but what uh, what what about the good uh, particle stuff? So let's see, let's uh, let's create some particle action. I'm going to stop this. All right. All right. So let's create another JIT gen. Uh, this is going to be some particle stuff. So let's plug the location in. And I guess we're going to need also a velocity matrix. So G point matrix. Well, is going to be float 32, 400 by 400. Oh, sorry, I forgot the planes. Right, let's put this this guy here and bang this also so we need to to generate the force so we need the param force oh sorry let, let me zoom so we need the force param let's call this force zero 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 this is a three 3d force but we're just going to use the 2D coordinates, uh, 2D force, um, leaving the zero on the Z axis. So let's subtract the location from the, the force, from the force uh, vector. So let's multiply this by uh, force strength force amp, let's call this force amp so this is yet, uh, yet normalized vector I guess no, it isn't but uh, we are just going to multiply it uh, as, it, as it is and let's uh, add this to the to the well to the well from the, the previous frame like, like this and let's add this to the force. Yeah. And this is our new location. And this is our new velocity. Let's uh, actually uh, dump the velocity a bit, like multiply it by 0 0.95. So we got some friction, high friction effect. Right, uh, let's uh, also divide the force by the square of the distance. Uh, we need first of, first we need to multiply this by 10 just to get some some <coughs> some bigger number to divide uh, our force otherwise we are just multiplying it. So we got the length of this uh, of the distance from the first point to the location point. Then we're squaring it. 
and then we are just dividing our force by the square of the distance multiplied by some arbitrary number in this case just 10 right this should be this should be it this should do the trick now let's see let's create our short sump message uh, oh we need also the, the actual force let's do let's do it like this let's pack force 0 point 0 point 0 point we are just going to, to use floating numbers to get some force vector. So just let's just do like this. All right, and this should be it. Oh, why I always have to save? All right, all right. Oh, for some zero. What? what? What did I? Uh, oh, of course, of course, guys. We're not yet. We are not done yet because we need the uh, allocation matrix here to update our location, and we need also our, our velocity matrix to to update our previous velocity parameters. All right. So let's see. Okay guys, so I had to pause uh, the recording and uh, now and then I forgot to record what I said, so I'm doing this now in uh, not in real time. And so what we missed was the first sump parameter here in the gem, gem particles, and now it uh, works like a charm. Let's see what the mean the past did. Yes, you see that we can modify this image uh, in crazy ways because this is just particle system. You can rebuild the image and you can just smash the poor turning sphere guy. And you can uh, use also some uh, mass division to get uh, particles reacting in different ways one from the other, different velocities. And uh, yes, I had fun with the poor, the poor guy. And yeah, this is it. So hope to see you in the next tutorial, guys. And bye bye.